Time is running out for dozens of Kaimanawa horses of rescuers. Don't come forward by this Friday with offers to rehome them. The Department of Conservation will muster at least 100 horses at the end of April, but the, Ma the Kaimanawa Heritage Horses Organisation says it's received few applications from the public wanting to take them, and those who don't find homes will be sent to the abattoir. It's particularly concerned about pregnant mares and foals. Elder Jenks is the founder of Kaimanawa Heritage Horses, an organisation run by volunteers. I asked him why he cares so much. We've been involved, my wife and I, and a few others for nearly 20 years now. Uh, they're part of our heritage, they're part of New Zealand, and uh, we feel very deeply they should be treasured accordingly. Can we look at some of the misinformation, I think, that surrounds these horses, that they are very difficult, that they are often reasonably sick, that they are not the kind of horses it's easy to domesticate or live with? Is any of that true, and if so, how true? I would say 99% untrue. Unfortunately, in many ways, uh, most of these, this comment has come out this muster because of a series of TV programs uh, which showed stallions as it was. It wasn't the normal. It wasn't mares, foals or yearlings. It was stallions. And uh, being a television series, which the way it was, they tend to show the, uh, the extremes, if you like. But no, these horses are not like that. We've been doing this for nearly 20 years. You've been involved for many of those years. And you know this isn't correct. Have you had success stories? Have you had people coming back to you a year, two years, five years later and saying, gosh, that was a wonderful horse we got? Can I just give an example? The last two musters, and even before then, a lady in the uh, Hawke's Bay uh, has taken numerous, like uh, last time I think it was something like 15 or 16 horses, uh, some of them for other people handled them and went on. The year before, the two musters the years before did the same. This year we know it already... She's doing 15 horses for other people. Now, these horses are pretty splendid. The young ones really are very, very quick to adapt. Uh, the stallions are an extreme thing, and that's unfortunately what the public has seen a bit of late, and, uh, and most of those weren't like that either. There's, there's good stories like uh, of those that know and have seen Tommy Wara, for instance, on TV recently. His two horses are the classic case of once you get to know them, they have been absolutely fantastic. They were ex -dallions. So yep. they, they are very manageable. This last uh, muster, my wife and I, uh, we're getting elderly now, I can say, we took a mere foal for the first time because normally we just take rescue horses. And the mere foal were absolutely a treasure. Uh, and after 18 months, they've moved off down to Rangiora in Christchurch to a lady who's taken a few from us. And she just you know, thinks the world of them. Elder, what's the deadline if people are considering getting a horse? Because the, the very singular reality is that horses that aren't placed will be slaughtered, right? So what is the deadline? They will. But this, in saying that seriously, we will never allow a foal or a yearling to go to slaughter. We've always said with enough of us, we will always take the overflow if need be, and we will do that. But what we're really pushing this year is, because of the short notice really we've got underway, is that we'd love people to come forward now and take mere and foal combinations. Because quite often the mare and is, is pregnant, not always, but sometimes, with a very young foal at a foot. And we try and place the very youngest foals with their mums. Uh, and this year we haven't had any applicants to date uh, for a mere foal combo. We would like to place around about 15 to 20 of those if we could, because that's a beautiful scenario, because the youngest foals get their mum to, to go with them. But the close-off date was certainly the first. We will always take them a day or two or three later. But then we have to put them all together and we have to travel the country checking the properties out, which is quite time-consuming, as you can imagine. Yeah, I can. How many have you taken over the years, Elder? Uh, from the muster, we've only taken the ones last time, but we have uh, had, I hate to think, how many rescue horses. Because we do the SPCA Act for all Kaimanawas throughout the country. Any of them get into trouble, uh, we take them over and we look after them. Some of them will only ever be paddock mates and stay with us forever. Others get uh, their health picked up. We fix them up, their teeth, their feet, and all the things that are wrong with them, try and recover them, and we place them. But there's, there's just many. Last year we had 13 here, uh, but and some of our other members have the same. So normally at any one time we have around about 20 horses on the rescue scheme, which costs us the, the biggest part of our money, I might add, which is uh, we're all, we've got no great grants coming to us. It's all charity work and hard work selling stuff. But um, it, it's, it's very worthwhile when you see the little horse come out the other end.